Hello everyone, welcome to this Skyrim Special Edition 2017 expansion tutorial because in this tutorial we are going to install Wiko and Wiko is the other character and NPC mod that, uh, that is also available instead of the total character overall that we did install but yeah Wiko looks a lot better as you can see here I'm in the character creation menu and uh, here I have a female Breton and um, yeah you can see how gorgeous he looks this is just one of the many and as you can see from the hair Apache sky hair is also working and uh, yeah for that um, let me show you the Argonian Argonian sorry looks good dark elf uh, high elf imperial all the other uh, races it takes a little while before switching and that's because the um, uh, probably I think because of the Apache sky hair and all those hairstyles need to be loaded so let me show you. I can select all kinds of hairstyles from Apache Sky Hair. Looks uh, looks really nice, actually. So yeah, pretty much that's um, that's how Wiko characters look. Very good, very natural, very fantastic, in my opinion. So let's sh let me show you how to install Wiko instead of total character overall. All right, I suggest we are just going to follow the instructions from the Skyrim Septum page for installing Wiko correctly and that's pretty much what I have done as well I followed just these instructions and yeah there is a little bit of a weird thing that we're going to experience in a specific installation instruction but uh, yeah for, that really did not bother my Wiko installation it worked fine when creating a character and all the NPCs which have not been adjusted yet by other NPC mods also were uh, replaced by Wiko characters it seems so yeah uh, for me it worked so let me show you what to do. First, we want to go to the Wiko page itself, the Wiko mod page. You want to go to files and you want to download this version, Wiko Special Edition Nude, and it's a pretty big mod, 400 megabytes, so yeah, you might want to wait a little bit for that. And what I did is in my folder characters, step four characters, I did create a new folder and I named it something like Wiko Expansion Tutorial. And you can uh, create that as well if you would like to. And then I did put 01 in front of it so I know the exact installation steps for this tutorial. So download that main file, that's a big, large mod. And I think we can now um, already install it. Let's see, yeah, we can already install it. And there's a thing that we need to do when we're going to our mod organizer too. And that is, we want to disable total character makeover because we do not want to use both mods at the same time, Wiko and total character makeover. So uncheck total character makeover, then click on add mod from file. Then we want to go to a Wiko expansion tutorial folder and we want to add the main file to it. And then we want to wait a little bit because it might take a little while. And meanwhile, we can continue with let's see um with perhaps downloading the other things let's see how far it is and then let's uh open up wiko cleanup script already so we can continue with it downloading it after it is finished okay we have this options form here and let's see what the author does advise for us to install for wiko on the first screen select custom so that's what we want click on next want the unofficial Skyrim special edition uh, compatible compatible patch then we want to click on next and then we can just install the mod all right and this is also going to take a little while so the Wiko cleanup script download the file and in this case we have actually two files and let's wait for the content to be loading yeah, that's a problem right now I'm recording with Nvidia shadow play and I can't pause it I can only stop the recording but uh, yeah Okay, we have two files here and what you want to download is this one now. So the hishi underscore npc underscore record forwarding that pass. So download that file. And I also want to download striped BSA for default settings. So let me double check that. Yeah, so you want to um, <coughs> name, name it something like this. Um, so you know the correct order. Uh, this is actually number three, but um, yeah, I can't change zero three in front of it because else the file name does not match the requirements. Okay, so download both files. It doesn't really matter if you put a number in front of it or not. And we can now go back because yeah, Wiko has now been successfully installed. Let's see, it's probably on yeah, it's probably here at the bottom of your list. And what you want to do now is you want to drag and drop it 
a little bit higher in the list because we want to have it as a start for our character mods. And let's see, it's uh, when you see the Bajin and Serranaholic mods, you know that the character mods are pretty much there. And we want to place it right under um, Total Character Makeover because Total Character Makeover does now does not exist now because we did disable it. And we want Wiko to be our main NPC and PC character mod. So activate Wiko and then we also want to drag and drop the ESPs because if we do not do this all our NPCs have really weird hats and all. An example Serana and all the BG mods have uh, really weird hats because they are replaced by Wiko well they should be replaced by their own mods. So we want these plugins to be loaded before all other character mods so we have to uh, look a little bit for the characters. Let's see where they are. We have to scroll a little bit up and then we want to um, <clears throat> sorry um, let's see let's just put it right above immersive wenches and right underneath verdant because from after verdant our wiko is being loaded before all the other character mods and that's what we want because we want the pigeon mods to be loaded after wiko we want the diversity mod to be loaded after wiko and we don't want wiko to be loaded after diversity and pigeon because that will pretty mess up our um, our PCs and NPCs. So all right, that was not that hard. Now we come to the actual hardest part and that is the cleanup scripts. So let's see, I really have to check for myself again what we needed to do. Um, okay, we did this now, we did download the cleanup scripts. All right, and we also need to go to the link GitHub page and that's this one. And from here you will find this script and let's see what we want here is um, uh, you, from here select the following lines all the way um, to the bottom of the list and in that case we do have let's see quite a amount, large amount of uh, files okay here you will have um, the end line so make sure everything is selected from here it's a pretty large script and you want to copy these lines and please note these are just text this is just text that you now have copied and we need to place it into a um, let, let me delete this because this is the file that we're going to create we want to create a new text file and you want to paste everything in there okay and then you want to save that text file and then you want to rename it to um, MTE functions that pass and the better, best would be to just copy paste that name all right so you want to paste that and you also want to remove the file extension that txt and you want to uh, change that into pass and now it's windows is probably going to say when you change the extension your file might not be usable but just apply anyway and uh, if you do not see the file extensions after your files, then there is a way to uh, activate them. And I have to check how that, if there's an easy way for me to um, to explain that because this is in Dutch and it's not in English. But follow these buttons. I think this is something with view in English. Then select options. Then you have this options form. All right, and then when you check on, uh, I think view or the way files are being viewed, there is a um, an option here, and this this means extensions for unknown file types uh, that you want to hide or unhide it, and you want to uncheck this box if it has been checked. And if you do that, you do you are able to see uh, the file extensions, and you can change them like I just did. So that's one um, that's the way how to create this MTE functions that pass, and we also want to uh, extract this file here and then you also have hishi underscore mpc underscore recording forwarding that pass so we have these both pass files make sure you copy them and then go to the location where you did did have installed skyrim special edition edit so sse edit and uh, if you follow the tutorial it should be somewhere in your program files mod tools sse edit and you do have a folder here edit scripts then you want to paste them in there and in my case it's going to say that it's one to over to want to replace the files and that's true because i already did do this i already 
paste the files inside my scripts. All right. And now what we want to do is we want to use SSE edits to apply a script to uh, Wiko. So let's go to our mod organizer too. Let's close up our uh, script here. All right. Then from the drop down menu, select the SSE edits and click on run. All right, so now you want to right click on it, select none. And we only want to select the following, the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch, cutting room floor and Wiko. And um, yeah, the thing is inside the installation instructions, um, yeah, this is also being stated. It says, check only the following, the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch, cutting room floor, which seems to be very important, and Wiko. But the yeah, Wiko is, are multiple parts here so I'm not really sure which ESP the author meant but yeah um, let's just select all of them and the reason for that is that the only output we do get is I think uh, I thought this ESP this uh, compatible patch that's the only output we got so make sure you select an official Skyrim special edition patch cutting room floor and the Wiko. And what you want to definitely check in your mod organizer too is that these ESPs are in the correct order, or at least the ESP should be. Uh, you have to make sure that unofficial Skyrim special edition patch comes first in your list, then cut cutting room floor comes second in your load order list, and then Wiko. Then you want to click on OK. And this is going to take a little while before it's initialized. All right. And as you can see, we have multiple. Um, uh, multiple ESPs here. All right, and then the following instructions say, um, in Wiko, right click on it, you can select anywhere and apply script. Well, the thing is here, I'm not really sure which Wiko is being meant, the patch, the characters, or the people. And the thing is, if I apply the scripts to all of them, because that's also possible uh, uh, to do it one one at a time, and I only get the same ESP as output format. So what I suggest is just do it for Wiko, immersive characters. That's the only one we need to replace, I think, because it worked for me. So um, yeah, I assume it doesn't really matter with which ESP you get because perhaps it's picking all of the Wiko uh, necessary files when we are going to apply a script. Then right click on it and click apply script. Where is it? Here it is, apply script. And yeah, you want to search for, um, normally it says new script. You want to search for Hishi. So you want to scroll down and you will have this Hishi underscore NPC underscore forwarding. Re record forwarding. Okay, then you want to select okay. And let me check what, um, yeah. Uh, okay, we do have these things which are going to be patched with the script file. And um, yeah, we do have some checkboxes here which are not checked, but I'm just going to um, going to leave it like this. I think uh, we should not mess with this. And as you can see here, file is going to be altered. It's the Wiko unofficial Skyrim special edition compatible patch. So press OK, and then please wait a little bit. All right, and um, let's see what if, if I miss something here. Okay. Yeah, then we need to rebuild our mod and it's uh, something we need to do first. Okay, is it done? Yeah, it's done. Okay, what you can do then is close your uh, Skyrim special edition scripts, uh, edit, and then you will see this. Um, save change files to the unofficial Skyrim special edition compatible patch. And you want to uncheck this backup plugins because else you have the old plugin and the new clean plugin with the script. So uncheck this so you have to, so are sure you only have Wiko unofficial Skyrim special edition compatible patch. Then press OK and then go to Mod Organizer 2. And I want to double click on Wiko. I want to go to the file tree and um, as you can see it's missing its old ESP from the compatible patch. And what, what, what we want to do now is we want to move our um, ESP that we just cleaned with a script file we want to drag and drop it here and where is that cleaned esp it's right here when you scroll all the way down you have this override folder you want to double click on that and here it is you want to drag and drop it to the wiko so we have to hold our mouse a little bit uh, and move it a little bit upper to wiko 
and this might be a little bit tricky to navigate but I'm pretty sure you guys can do that so let's see where is it we go it's a little bit more down we go here it is so we want to drag and drop it in here we go wind song immersive character overhaul release it there and then you want to double check when double clicking that it is actually in a file tree and here it is as you can see the unofficial Skyrim special edition compatible patch all right and then there is a um, another thing um, he says this now I'm pretty sure this makes the patch redundant and bad but not 100 percent but he actually deactivated the patch but I'm not really sure why he did do that because we actually did fix this right this patch so this is pretty uh, confusing for me and um, yeah for that I'm just gonna leave it on um, the, the ESP but I'm not really sure what the author means with this and there's another thing that we need to do and that's uh, here the last thing that we need to do is we need a new BSEA file has been posted by the author of Wico cleanup script on that page it is required to use that BZ instead of the one which comes with Wico okay there's no explanation for this but um, it's not really that hard um, let's see I did ask you guys to download the this file right we want you want this file you probably did download it if not make sure you download it right now okay and then we want to go back to our Wico expansion tutorial folder and then we want to go to the mod organizer and then we want to um, click on this install a new mod from an archive all right and then you want to add that mod stripe bsa for default settings i click on manual okay it seems to be packed correctly let's wait a little bit and then you want to drag and drop that mod right underneath Wico. let's see where it is we go here it is so right underneath Wico. And when you double click this and you check the file tree, it contains this BSA file, Wico dash immersive people at BSA. And this is the new version that we need. And for that we want to we want the old version to be removed from Wico because else we have two of these BSA files and your Skyrim special edition is probably going to crash. So let me double check Wico immersive people at BSA. Open up Wico the mod itself and then Remove the mod Wico Immersive People at BSA because uh, I think that's just the easiest way. No bother to hide or do any fancy things with the old BSA. Just right click on it, click delete, and that will remove the Immersive People at BSA from the original one. And when you activate the mod, it's going to be um, this mod, this Wico Immersive People at BSA is going to be activated. So, yeah, that should pretty much do the trick. It doesn't come with an ESP or of any kind so yeah it should be like this at least that's how I did read the installation instructions and again I find it's pretty weird that the author is pretty much saying that he find the uh, patch redundant um, because that's what we did right we did patch the uh, unofficial Skyrim special edition patch with a script and yeah so that's the thing I really don't understand but uh, yeah that should pretty much be it for you guys if you run Skyrim Special Edition. By the way, in my case, when I close my organizer now, it's going to crash. Yeah, it's going to give an error. So um, that's that's normal for me, maybe not for you guys, but that's normal for me. But now you can run Mod Organizer 2 again. Make sure you select Skyrim Special Edition. Select Run. What I suggest is you create a new character so you know for sure that Wico has been Im implemented into the game. And then you should have no problem whatsoever with your old save game so um, I hope it worked if not please let me know in the comments if some of you have experience with the patch this patch story please let me know in the comments as well I'm pretty curious about that and else thank you very much for watching and hope to see you guys at the next tutorial take care and bye bye